Mechanics, Paper 22, Advanced Subsidiary, Mathematics, Wednesday, 20th May, 2020. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. At time t is equals to zero, a small ball is projected vertically upwards with speed u meters per second from a point A that is 16.8 meters above horizontal ground. The speed of the ball at the instant immediately before it hits the ground for the first time is 19 meters per second. The ball hits the ground for the first time at t is equals to t seconds. The motion of the ball from the instant it is projected until the instant just before it hits the ground for the first time is modeled as that of a particle moving freely under gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is modeled as having magnitude 10 meters per second squared. Using the model, show that u is equals to five. To find u, we're going to use the Suvat equations. S-U-V-A-T, Suvat equation. So S is 16.8 meters. U is what we're looking for. I've just put the answer there. V is 19 meters per second. Acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. So using V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. V is 19, so we have 19 squared. U is what we're looking for. And U is negative because we considered going up to be negative and coming down to be positive. So it's going up is negative and coming down is positive. And then plus and then two, acceleration is 10. That's what the one was to use, 10 meters per second squared, not 9.8. And S is 16.8. S is a displacement or distance 16.8. So 19 squared is 361. Minus u squared gives you u squared. Two times 10 times 16.8 is 336. So we take plus 336 goes to the left. It becomes minus 336. And find the square root because the inverse of squared is square root. So that gives you u to be five. Part B says find the value of t. There are several ways that we can find that value of t. And I'll show you four different ways. We can use v is equals to u plus a t. So v is 19, u is minus five, a is 10. And remember, first of all, start by writing down the suvat and then filling in the numbers, the ones you know. We know s, we know u, we know v, we know a. We want to find t. And when we rearrange, we make t, the subject t will be v minus u over a. Remember, we are using capital T for small t because what that's what we want to find. And u, be careful, u is negative five. So minus minus five will become a plus five. So minus and minus five will become a plus five. So 19 plus five over 10 gives you 2.4. So t is equal to 2.4. Another way to find t, you can use s is equals to the average speed u plus v over two times time. This comes from using speed is equal to distance over time. Or you can say, so average speed over two times, average speed times time. So what you can do is 16.8 is S. U is minus five, careful, you have to make sure it's minus five. V is 19, final speed is 19. And T is what we're looking for. So when you do 19, take away five is 14. 14 divided by two gives you seven. So T would be, you take the time seven to that side becomes divided by seven. 16.8 divided by seven and it gives you t to be 2.4.
or you can use s is equals to ut plus half a t squared s is 16.8 u is minus 5 t is what we're looking for and we have the plus sign we have half acceleration is 10 that's the one the one us to use not 9.8 and t is what we're looking for. Now we have a t squared there and a t there. So what we want to do, we want to first of all do this half times 10, it gives you five. Half of 10 is five. So go five t squared, I'll go minus five t. We want to put everything to one side. So if we take the five t squared will stay on that side, the minus five t would come in front and we'll take the 16.8 to that to the right, it will become minus 16.8. It's plus 16.8, you take it to the right, it becomes minus 16.8. You will use your calculator to solve the quadratic where A is five, B is minus five, and C is minus 16.8. So you get T to be 2.4 and T to be minus 1.4. You reject that and T is 2.4. Or you can use S is equals to VT minus half AT squared. S is equals to 16.8. Final velocity is 19. T is what we're looking for. The minus stays the same. Half stays the same. A is 10, not 9.8. And T is what we're looking for. So if you multiply half times 10, it will give you 5. So this one, you have to be careful. The minus five T squared comes to the front. Plus 19 T. And the plus 16.8 goes to the right. It becomes minus 16.8. So all of it will be equal to zero. Put that in your calculator where A is minus five, B is 19, C is minus 16.8 you get T to be 2.4. So those are four different ways you can find T using those uh, equations. Part C, find the time from the instant the ball is projected until the instant when the ball is 1.2 meter below A. So the first thing we do is we write down SUVAT, S-U-V-A-T. We want it to be at 1.2 meters. U is 5. V is 19. A is 10. U is actually minus 5. So we know the new position will be 1.2. And we put, put U is minus 5. And half times acceleration is 10 and then t is what we're looking for. So half of 10 is five. Half of 10 is five. So it becomes five t squared will come to the front, minus five t will come next. And the 1.2 plus 1.2 will go to the right, it becomes minus 1.2 equals to zero. Use your calculator and you get t to be 1.2 seconds. But D, sketch a velocity time graph for the motion of the ball for zero less than T less than or equals to T, stating the coordinates of the start point and the end point of your graph. So we draw the axis, velocity, and time. Time goes on the x-axis, velocity on the y-axis. So what's the initial speed? The initial speed is five. So when the time is zero, the speed is five. And we had the final speed at 2.4 that we calculated. When the time was 2.4, the, the speed was minus 19. So you would have, you will present it like that, 0, 5 and 2.4 minus 19. And that will represent the graph. In a refined, in the refinement of the model of the motion of the ball, the effect of air resistance on the ball is included. And this refined model is now used to find the value of U. State with the reason 
how this new value of u would compare with the value found in part A using the initial unrefined model. And then part F, suggest one further refinement that could be made to the model apart from including air resistance that would make the model more realistic. So we would say there would be greater air resistance it would be greater since air resistance would slow the ball down. So it would be greater since the air resistance would slow the ball down. And so just one further refinement that could be made. You can take into account the spin. The ball could be spinning in the air. Wind effects. Or you can use more accurate value of G. We're using G to be 10. You can use G to be 9.8 one and you can not model the ball as a particle so those are different things you can take into account